Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, oh welcome back. All right, so we are continuing on with the Hannibal journey. We are still in season one. Today we are getting into episodes seven and eight. Trying to refresh my memory, the last episode we discovered that Gina Torres' character has cancer. Lawrence Fishburne has this whole situation where back in the day he sent this trainee after a serial killer and then the serial killer abducted her but it might be Hannibal and Hannibal's still serving everybody food that's undoubtedly human flesh so that's still a thing and Glenda's running around being Glenda doing Glenda type things going into this episode the two biggest things that I'm hoping to see are another dog and Will in his underwear I'm just kidding I am curious to see if Han how much of a part Hannibal will actually play in this episode because obviously like he's always there in all of the episodes but I think in the last one up until the end until he, like you find out that he's the one that killed oh it was Hannibal <laughs> duh it's been like a week and a half so anyway I'm curious to see what's gonna happen I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore before we get into the video make sure to like comment subscribe and hit the notification button so you can get notifications for when I upload a new video also feel free to check me out on social media I have both Instagram and Twitter all right let's get into episode 7 of Hannibal believed to be the Ripper's ninth, but no trace of her was found until recently when her severed arm was discovered. I wonder how this is gonna affect Lawrence Fishburne's character. Cause this is more like an example of like, this is what thing, this is what could happen under his leadership and his direction. So I'm curious to see how that works. Ew, what the f is that? That was disgusting, y'all. Ugh. That is disgusting. Ew. Yeah, sing girl. He's like having a moment listening to her. Is he like, ooh, those vocal cords sound delicious. I mean, she did a great job, to be honest. Good for her. It's been too long since you properly cooked for us, Hannibal. Come over and I will cook for you. Oh my God. How many people has he served people to? Hundreds at this point? So good to see you. This is my friend Tobias. How do you two know each other? There should remain some mystery to my life outside the opera. How do they know each other? Did you enjoy the performance? I did. His eyes kept wandering. More interested in you than what was happening on stage. Why? Ooh, why? Ha! <laughs> Gay! Who's hungry? Hannibal's ass is always hungry. He wants that girl's vocal cords for sure. Hello, Sydney. Is that, is he dreaming? I was gonna say, cause like how the hell did her battery last that long? The reason he left you there him last his arm is so he could poke you his other victims. He wanted to humiliate in death like, like a public dissection. But how do we know that she's actually dead though? Because the arm looked relatively fresh. So I think she's probably still alive. That's my that's my current thought process. But as, you know, the director of the FBI, you would think that he would not have more sense to not respond to these obvious tactics from the serial killer. This is the Ripper. There'll be at least two more bodies. We'll have a window of opportunity to catch him, and that window will close. If you know this, then why are you acting brand new? Surgery was performed and then unperformed. Surgery was unperformed with bare hands, sutures clawed open. Lord, what are they about to show me now? Ah, uh, here. We go. Surgery wasn't performed here. If he's moving his victims, he could be performing the mutilations in the same transport. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Well, shit. Here we go again. That bathroom is straight up from The Shining. That has to be an homage. Oh, yeah. This is totally an homage to The Shining. Yes! I love that. That was real gay. I love that. There's the fucking deer elk thing. His heart seizes up. So he's trying to protect him? Or I save him? Chest wall. Oh god. Internal cardiac massage. I think I'll pass on that one. Yeah, straight up, this bathroom Dad. is 100% from The Shining. The, the coloring, like, the way that it is visually shot is obviously different, but this is straight up The Shining. Oh. 
The Ripper left his victim in a church pew using his tongue as a page marker in the Bible. Oh my god, it's dark sided. Would you like to discuss our chance encounter? It wasn't altogether by chance. Thought you'd be there. It just occurred to me that you might like it too. In fact, I do. Is it a type of situation? I really don't know who you are outside this room. But you would like to. In your mouth? And we like the same things. I think that we would make good friends. It makes me sad that I have to pay to see you. Is he a stalker? Does he lust for him? Is he having lusty bunny feelings? What's what's the tea? I was listening to uh, Michael Jackson and I burst into tears. <sighs> My eyes are burning right now just thinking about it. What? I will never get to meet him. And I feel like if I was his friend, I would have been able to help save him from himself. We got some toxic fandom here. How yeah, was your friendship returned? I just get to touch greatness. That's interesting. That is not what I was expecting. Or is like greatness and euphemism for penis? This always goes better if I'm perfectly honest with you. What would be the point otherwise? Well, one of us has to be honest. Is that G Gillian? Gillian? Gillian from X Files? That's totally her. And hope that the actual you gets what he needs. Oh, she looks fabulous as blonde. Yes. But you are wearing a very well-tailored person suit. Patient who wears a person suit. Maybe it's less of a person suit and more of a human veil. Ooh, she's reading him for filth. You must be lonely. I have friends and the opportunities for friends. You and I are friendly. Girl, run. He wants to eat you. You in danger, girl. I see enough of you to see the truth of you. And I like you. Red or white? I think something pink, don't you? Does she want his greatness? What was the brutalization hiding? careful surgical removal and preservation of vital organs. Aw, he's like meal prepping. May I ask for your business card, please? For my records. He keeps a collection alongside a recipe for each person that he eats. Like, it's disgusting, but I admire how much he cooks. The experimentation of it all. Like, if it wasn't flesh, I would love to be friends with Hannibal, because he would always be cooking me a meal every time I go over there. But, like, you can't actually go over there because you'll be eating a chicken McTesticle. Like, no. You need a hand. I think I must have hit a rock or something. Gouge my gas tank. Have we met before? You're about to meet the inside of his stomach now. Don't joke about that. Hannibal! Damn, you are not yourself and you're hungry. But he also took his heart, which, if you recall, is what he tried to do in the hotel, but was interrupted before he could paint his picture. Ugh. Ugh. Is that what they actually look like? Ugh. Both victims' organs have been harvested for transplant. Subtle variation on waking up in a tub of ice, missing a kidney. Love a good urban legend. Same. We love urban legends. Someone's in the back seat! Abdominal aorta and inferior vena cava. That's like the kidneys in and out for blood. This one, there's something about him that seems a little sketch to me. I don't know what it is. He always seems very frustrated whenever Will is like talking and like saying, no, this is what's going on. He's always just like looking at him like angry about it. He's sus. Beer brewed in a wine barrel. Two years, I bottle it myself. I'm impressed. Girl, don't do it. It's probably bone broth. I love your palate. I love your beer. I taste oak. What else do I taste in there? Probably spleen. I'm curious about something. Are you purposely avoiding the subject of Will Graham? Absolutely. Because she loves him. You had me examining PhD candidates that week. You realize those candidates thought we were having an affair. Why didn't we? Ooh! Ooh! And I, ooh! Will does that too, you know? Have affairs. Flirtatiously change the subject. You have that pathology in common. Or oh, we just have you in common. Ooh, love triangle. Jack's obsessed with the Chesapeake Ripper and he's grooming Will to catch him. And I sincerely hope he does. There was some sexual chemistry there. She's got sexual chemistry with Will. There's a love triangle. People are eating people. It's, it's a lot. And I'm here for it. Ew, I wonder what it smells like in a morgue. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh no. He still looks cute though. Oh, thank God. I mean, I knew it was a dream, but I was still like kind of scared. Nope, nope. Don't you fucking touch Will. <laughs> Not even a nibble. I'm nibble on Will though. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm a vegan now. Good morning. Please come in. Oh lord, he's here for his nine o'clock. Let me touch your greatness session. What the fuck is that? Jose's. Jose's has the best selection of artisanal cheeses in Baltimore City or County. I wouldn't touch him, buddy. Do you decide to buy it sexually? No. <laughs> Not to be defensive. Don't get me wrong, I was in a fraternity. I, I, I tried things. Yeah, I've seen that video. I've seen that video. Fraternity X, right? You often worry about being alone. I worry about hurting. Being alone comes with a dull ache, doesn't it? A little bit. It's better that it's just the two of us. What is this? Dad. Yes? There's someone else here. I mean, that was a really cool shot, but what the f was that? Well? Is he like dissociating now? He must have fallen asleep. It was a sleepwalking. Your eyes were open, but you were not present. You need to stop sleeping altogether. Best way to avoid bad dreams. You know what? Hypnocell. Try Hypnocell. It'll get rid of your dreams like that. The Ripper had no reason to humiliate Mary in the last. Seems to me he was humiliating someone. He was humiliating Jack. Did it work? Mm, yes. Yes, it did. He still hasn't apologized, but it worked. Ambulance would be a smart place to perform surgery. The cops show up, blend in, and drive away. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty smart. Ooh, and in Silence of the Lambs, that's how uh, Hannibal got away after he like put on the guy's face, woke up in the the back of the ambulance. Devin Silvestri is one of our part-time drivers. Does he want to be a doctor? He's taking the MCATs. He's a serial killer. He's there this morning. Well, is Mr. Silvestri working today? He's not on a schedule. Oh, he's working. Mm-hmm. He's playing Operation. Show me your hands. I can't. He'll die. Dr. Lecter! Ooh, he is about to get hangry, bitch. He's like a, a, sh a shark with blood in the water. Mr. Silvestri, put your hands behind your head and exit the vehicle slowly. Well, they caught another one. Will, come on, you, like, you know, it's in your mind. He is that deer elk thing, 100%. Just come on. This nasty, dirty, parmesan crusted bitch, stop serving people. Like, ugh, I'm never eating food again after watching the show. It's the picture you just painted means that I will never touch food of any kind again. Couldn't save someone. An emergency room surgeon has to happen. It happened one time too many. I transferred my passion for anatomy into the culinary arts, and no one died as a result of my therapy. <laughs> the delusion. The delusion. Also, the reason he stopped doing surgeries is not because he accidentally killed somebody, it's because he got too hungry and undoubtedly ate somebody and was like, no, 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 no. I've picked a new profession. <laughs> My gosh. You trying to tell me not one of the chefs that helped prepare that meal was like, this doesn't look like an animal. All right, so that was episode seven. Hannibal is one trifling nasty motherfucker, let me tell you. That was a very Hannibal focused episode. Hannibal was eating everybody in that episode, serving it to everybody in that episode. That is like, they're, ugh. He's a serial killer, obviously. And it's like, okay, you're a cannibal. Okay, that's horrible. But the serving it to everybody he meets. I don't know, it was a pretty good episode. Lawrence Fishburne's character took a, a back seat. You know, eventually I will start to like remember their, their names. Jack, Jack's character took more of a back seat this episode. He's just clearly still struggling with the fact that he sent that trainee off to her death. Will took a back seat in, in a sense in this episode, but I, I, I think we're getting into the the part now where Will is slowly starting to figure out that there's something weird going on with Hannibal. And Hannibal is, of course, just eating everybody and their mothers. But I'm excited to see where we go in episode eight, so let's get into that, episode eight of Hannibal. Puppies. We didn't get this in the last episode. Here's hoping Will takes off his pants. Thank you for allowing me to make you horny. Is he dreaming again? What the hell is that noise? 
Thank God. I don't. I don't know what I thought that was. It kind of sounded like a dog, like in pain. Thank God it was not. You have to learn how to bow authentic strings. I should learn to play the easier strings first, then the harder ones. Are they really made from cat guts? What? What? Is that a thing? Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Ew. Wait, the guy? Oh, oh. He's the other one? What? If it wasn't a coyote, the coyotes probably got it. Probably got it even if it was a coyote. You're not expecting to find it alive, are you? You'd be lucky to find a paw. Oh, it was one of the dogs. I invited you over on the off chance we do find it alive. It's hard for me to wrangle a wounded animal by myself. No, you invited her because you love her. You just don't seem like you date. Too broken to date? You're not broken. What's your excuse? For not dating. Aw, I want them to date. Yeah, miraculous love. What? A miraculous love. I googled psychopaths, went down the checklist. I was a little surprised to see how many boxes I had checked. Does Hannibal know that the other guy is the other killer? Psychopaths are not crazy. They're fully aware of what they do and the consequences of those actions. Would you diagnose someone like Tobias as a psychopath? If he's eating people, yeah. I'm not analyzing your friend. I'm analyzing your perception of him. Does that mean that I'm a psychopath? You're not a psychopath, although you may be attracted to them. Hmm. Huh. Little bit. It, it would seem that way. What? What the f***? This killer brought him here to put on a show. What? Ugh. I was safe in the last episode. It wasn't that sick. It's not any easier, Jack. Shake it off. Keep on looking. Good. Jack, ugh. F off. Leave Will alone. He is clearly not okay. Yep. He's about to do his little, his little witchcraft wizard tree shit. I open his throat from the outside. To access the tricky. Ah, please don't. I open his throat from the inside using the neck of a cello. Ew. I mean, that's nasty. That's some nasty shit. That's gnarly. <laughs> wow, is <laughs> all I'm gonna say. <laughs> wow. Oh gosh, he's still haunted by this guy? I mean, yeah, I killed him. Surprised that that's still a thing. I thought he had started to like shift to Hannibal. His obsession with me is interfering with his progress. I'm considering referring him to another doctor. I referred you to another psychiatrist. You refused. Well, I'm glad to see that she's back. She seems like she's gonna be an interesting character. Assuming she lasts more than like two or three episodes and doesn't get eaten. Also, she looks fantastic. I'm not the only psychiatrist who's ever been attacked by a patient. I hesitated to even bring up the subject. Hannibal, I'm your psychiatrist. You're not mine. So someone attacked her. I wonder who it was. We found sodium carbonate, sulfur dioxide, lye, and olive oil. What is the deal with the olive oil? It made them easier to play. Uh, what the psychopath. He treated the vocal cords the same way you treat cat gut string. Yes. I played the violin. That's an actual thing? People, ew! ...of cat guts for over a century. It was said to increase the life of the strings and create a sweeter, more melodic sound. Ew, I did not know anything about this. I did, ugh, no, I can never look at an instrument with strings the same way again. Like, if a, imagine, like, a musician trying to come over to my house and be like, absolutely not, you're after my cats. He said that he wanted to cut someone's throat and play it like a violin. They found somebody whose throat was cut and played like a violin. Because it's him, obviously. Two plus two is four. Do I have to report it? Do you have a reason not to? You, you should report it. What if you're right? I'm always wrong. Why would he say something like that to me? What do you think? Because he knows I'd tell you. What is that all about? What is that? Why? 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 Meeting of the cannibals? Is that what is that, that's what that's what's going on right now? You compose? I discover. Can't impose traditional composition on an instrument that's inherently freeform. What instrument would that be? The theremin. Ooh, the theremin. That is one creepy ass instrument. Which movie? I think it was First Man that 
a lot of the scores theremin i love i don't even know if i'm saying it right but whatever that weird ass instrument is that makes you sound like you're in like outer space or something love that what brings you here looking for god my harpsichord needs new strings it's making an awful noise perhaps you could help is hannibal about to kill him what is that what is that noise Rats? Raccoons? Oh, well... There were probably other ways to figure that out. By the time I knocked a hole in the chimney, it climbed out the top. Well, at least it got out. I don't think that there's an actual animal there. This is in his head, because he's slowly starting to crack. You avoided being in a room alone with me. I mean, you were smooth about it. You're evidently not smooth enough. And now you're making house calls. Just a drive-by on my way home? Come on, come on. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Ooh, ooh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yay! I love love. The way that I am isn't compatible with the way, the that way I am. Just kiss him again. And I wouldn't be able to stop analyzing because I have this professional curiosity about you. Oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. I am not your patient. If I were my patient, my advice to me would be don't do this. <sighs> well, at least we got a little bit. Come on, Will deserves to be happy. More wine. A late harvest Vidal from Linden. A, a dinner of for cannibals. Dinner for cannibals. I mean, this is one person that I guess it's okay to serve people to. Because, ooh, what if he like bites into it and he's like, this is a human pancreas, sir. They may investigate me because I own a string shop. They'll send men to investigate and I'll kill them. Actually, I was going to kill you. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> He's a dead man. What stopped you from wanting to kill me? I stopped after I followed you one night out of town to a bus yard. Oh, Hannibal, he done f***ed up. I could use a friend, someone who can understand me. Thinks like I do and can see the world and the people in it the way I do. Honey, he is looking at you like grass-fed beef, okay? You eat what he eats, so you probably taste excellent in his eyes. I like this world. You've got dog racing, Manchester United, and you've got people. Billions of people walking around like Happy Meals with legs. I kissed Alana Bloom. Wondering then why you kissed it. And felt compelled to drive an hour in the snow to tell me about it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to kiss her since I met her. She's very kissable. She's beautiful. I heard an animal trapped in my chimney. Lana showed up. She, she knew there was no animal in the chimney. It was only in my head. Yep. He's off the deep end. Are you still hearing this killer serenade behind your eyes? It's our song. What is that? What is what? What kind of dessert did he eat? Corrupt. I hesitate telling you this as it borders on a violation of doctor patient confidentiality. Oh shit. A patient told me today he suspects a friend of his may be involved with the murder at the symphony. He owns a music store in Baltimore specializing in string instruments. Perhaps you should interview him. Interesting. Well, because the guy said that like, if the FBI show up, they're going to send eventually people to come and investigate me and then I'm going to kill them. So why would he tell Will? He obviously doesn't want Will to die. <laughs> It's nice when someone sees us, Hannibal, or has the ability to see us. It requires trust. Trust is difficult for you. She is stunning. Holy shit. You spend a lot of time building walls. It's natural to want to see if someone is clever enough to climb over them. Someone spent a lot of time building your hair, because that shit is snatched. Whew. Special Agent Will Graham. I'm just showing one of my students out. Can I have a moment? Dodge for Saturday. That was the moment that he needed. The strings have to be treated. You can't just open somebody up and draw a bow across their innards. And the vocal cords were chemically treated and kept those details out of the press. Mm-hmm. Tongue. Slip of Jill Roberts. What finally tipped off the great detective? Tongue. Slip of. Something wrong? Oh, Will. Didn't you hear that? I didn't hear anything. Excuse me a minute. He needs a vacation or something. Bruh, get out of the road. Sorry about that. They're dead, aren't they? Yep, yep. He's dead. 
Will, no, don't, don't go into the basement. Just because it worked out for Jodie Foster does not mean that it's going to work out for you. Do not go down into the creepy basement that looks like a dungeon. Uh, uh. <laughs> No, no, you need to make like Forrest Gump and f***ing run. Ew, what, what, what is that? No! Oh, thank God. You see, though, they just did something that is so rarely done in movies. A gun went off in close proximity to someone's ear, or even in the same room, and their ears were ringing. They never acknowledged that in movies, and I'm glad that they did here. You lost respect for me because I wouldn't report Tobias, didn't you? Report Tobias for what? Oh, shit. I came to say goodbye, frankly. What do you mean, goodbye? Oh my god, is that your blood? What a love affair. Sandwiched between two cannibals. You have to give yourself up right now. Is rehabilitation for everyone. He f murdered somebody and posed their body. He's not getting rehabilitated. Only thing you can change is your future, right? He's about to change the placement of your organs. Nothing has happened in our relationship that you and I can't I said, damn, bitch. I was looking forward to that. I saved you the trouble. Cannibal versus cannibal. What well, cannibal's like, what the f Oh, this was not what I was expecting. Oh God. Like I don't want Hannibal to die, but I, I'm fine with it because he's a serial killer. It's not often you see somebody just get thunder punched right in the throat. Fatality. And that's how you do it. You know why I'm fine with the fact that he just won? Because I just realized, first of all, I figured out how to pronounce his name. It's Mass Mickelson. And he played Cassilius in Doctor Strange. That's how he knows how to whoop ass. I was worried you were dead. Was he? Bias Budge killed two Baltimore police officers. Nearly killed an FBI special agent. And after all of that, his first stop is here at your office. That's suspicious. I thought this was a simple matter of poor choice and friends. This doesn't feel simple to me. Kind of seems like Hannibal lost a little bit of, of the control he had over the whole situation so far. Dragged you into my world. I got here on my own. But I appreciate the company. I feel like Hannibal likes the... Lady cop, and obviously she likes Will, but she also likes him. But she kissed Will, and then Will told him that they kissed. So then he got pissed, and he sent Will to the location, hoping that Will was going to end up getting killed. But he didn't. I can't help feeling responsible for what happened to Franklin. Every person has an intrinsic responsibility for their own life. No one else can take on that responsibility. Not even you. Hmm. Interesting. Did you take responsibility when you were attacked by your patient? Yes. But I don't take responsibility for his death. I'm having like a moment every single time she is on screen because she is f***ing stunning. That was episode eight. That was a good episode. That was a real, real, real good episode. The shit hit the fan. Cannibal versus another cannibal. Cannibal battle royale. I'm a little bit confused as to what the intention was with Will. Hannibal definitely seemed like had some sort of emotional confliction when Will showed back up. So I can't tell if, like what I said before, if, you know what? Let me look up this woman's name so I can stop calling her Lady Cub. Dr. Bloom. Okay. There's like this love triangle with Hannibal, Dr. Bloom, and Will. And I think Hannibal likes Dr. Bloom and got jealous that she kissed Will. So he sent Will to die maybe but then i also get like this weird vibe throughout the show so far that hannibal like feels protective over will i don't know i don't know that was a good ass episode though let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments and i will see you for the next couple <laughs>